I cannot believe it has literally been, I think, about a month. Uh, the last time I saw you guys was when I was doing my review of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and shortly after that, I cracked the screen on my laptop, so um, still haven't got that fixed, but I'm using my TV as a monitor now. I haven't really been able to film, and plus in that time, we moved to a new house. This is my new room. This is just a small shot of it. This is a bookshelf that I have over here with twinkle lights on it, and if you guys would like to see a room tour, let me know down in the comments below because I would love to show you guys my new room. But Christmas is over and I got some super cool gifts and I got a lot of Harry Potter stuff. A lot of that. And I'm super excited about it and I want to show it all to you guys. It was a very Harry Potter Christmas. Let me just put it that way. One of the first things I got was this book. One of my old roommates and dear friends sent this to me. It is called The Unofficial Guide to Crafting the World of Harry Potter. And it's just full of DIY crafts that you can do. Like one of my favorites is it shows you how to make an iPad case. That is the Monster Book of Monsters. And I think it's adorable. And I really want to try this one because um, it's so cute. This was such a... A good gift. I love it. The next three things I'm about to show you are something I've literally dreamed about having ever since I was a little girl, but I ended up getting them for Christmas and I'm super excited about it. The first one is the Hufflepuff Cup. So this is one of the Horcruxes. It's amazing and I'm so excited that I got this. Um, it has a little badger on it and I I love it. It also matches my room because it's gold and gold is a main accent in my room. Then I got another Horcrux. I think that this box is my favorite. Um, it's like a triangle shape and it has like little symbols of the Deathly Hallows on the side and I love it. And the last one I got is the Locket. And these all came from the Noble Collection and like I said I've always wanted them. But yeah so this one is the locket. And the final Harry Potter item that I got, which I honestly was not expecting and was so shocked and so surprised and so happy about it, is... You know, for 24 hours, an unregistered wizard set magical beast loose in New York. This is the Empire Magazine that has the moving screen inside of it and, um, these were released in a super limited edition in only a few places in London, I'm pretty sure. My amazing boyfriend managed to get his hands on it for me for Christmas and it was super exciting. I was so happy to get this. And it just has like all the stories on the front and then um, there's videos that play on the screen and it opens up to a picture of Newt. The back shows all the stories that in it but oh my gosh this is amazing I actually forgot I have one more Wizarding World type gift so after I did my new cosplay I've been thinking about other cosplays that I want to do and like wear around the parks and everything and then I decided that I just wanted to create my own witch that would have her own story and isn't actually one of the characters from the books and I had put together a whole wish list of things that I wanted to buy that, that would make the witch outfit on Amazon. One of my fellow housemates managed to get me some of those items. So first off is this shirt um, which I would button all the way to the top and it has like these little metal gold pins on the collar and then the sleeves fan out like a cape or robes which is amazing and so perfect for what I want to do. And then a little skirt which is an olive green. He got to match my witch's hat that I bought at the Wizarding World um, so it all goes together super well. And that is it guys, that is everything that I got for Christmas. Just kidding! I'm here again because I just got a late package in the mail and got three more presents and guess what? They're all Harry Potter related and I didn't even like ask for this. The only thing I asked for this year was the Noble Collection stuff um, and everything else everyone just got for me because I'm just obsessed with Harry Potter. My best 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 friend sent me a package and it got here after Christmas um, a little late so I didn't have them when I originally filmed the video but I had to add it to this video so here I am that's why I look different and I have to show you this stuff. She got me this book 
which is Harry Potter Magical Artifacts Coloring Book, which is amazing because every time I see these coloring books in the store, I'm like, I want one so bad, but I never um, think that I should spend the money on it, so I don't. It's so cool. Look at this. Oh my gosh. When you're coloring the pages, you know what everything looks like. Guys, it's amazing. The thing she got me was actually really funny. Remember that craft book I showed you? Yeah, um, she sent me the same craft book. I took that back to Barnes & Noble and got myself this. I am so excited to dig into this book. You guys don't even know. Inside the Magic, The Making of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by Ian Nathan. And it's just all behind the scenes goodness of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And the inside of the book is just freaking gorgeous and beautiful so well designed and then I told her I got that and she was like I was totally like between that and the other thing and then ended up getting me the other thing and I was like doesn't matter I love it all finally this is one of the things I'm most excited about she got me a fantastic piece and where to find the vinyl record the front has the picture of Newt standing on the busted building and then the back is just the Makusa symbol and it is amazing it's so beautiful so gorgeous and I went to go play it and my needle on my record player broke so I had to order new needles um but those should be here any day so now that's everything I feel very spoiled um but yeah that is all I have for you guys today if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you're not already please hit that subscribe button there's lots of magicalness on this channel all the time and I would love to have you join the Awkward Gravity X family and yeah I will see you guys very soon in the new year with a new video that's all bye, -bye.